So how can you control dream characters? And when I say control, I mean manipulate them, spawn them, tell them what to do, and kind of decide what's gonna happen in your dream. This is different to lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, by definition, is just kind of being aware that you're dreaming. Controlling things is a different skill entirely. It's not necessarily going hand in hand with being lucid. You can be lucid and not be in control, but you can't be in control without being lucid. So I hope that makes sense. So in order to control dream characters, what you first need to do is set an intention, decide before you have the dream, ideally, what you're actually gonna do. And you know, you can do that by writing journals, affirmations, visualizing things in your head before you sleep. But it really comes down to just being aware of what you want to happen. What do you want the dream to actually feel like? What do you want to experience? So first set an intention that will describe what you want to happen in the dream. Do you want the dream character to come and go on an adventure with you? Do you want them to appear out of nowhere and then you go and climb a tree? What do you want to happen? Usually it's that you want to experience some kind of adventure or reconnection with a lost loved one or a friend or a celebrity. That's usually why people would control dream characters. You've got to remember that these are parts of your subconscious mind. So yeah, you should spawn them and see what you can do, see what happens. Now, again, another way to do this is to practice visualizing the dream character that you want to create. And you can do this by imagining a door and then you open the door and then when you go through the door, you'll see the dream character you want. This is a really common way of kind of creating dream characters. All right, so some other things you can do is you can use telekinesis and kind of telepathy or mind control. So let's say if I'm in a dream now, I'm lucid, I'm aware that I'm dreaming and I've done my reality checks, I know what's going on and I see a dream character over there that I want to control or I want to tell them what to do. Basically, you just look at them and then imagine there's a telepathic connection between your two brains. Really, it's just between two parts of your own brain, but for, to keep things simple, just imagine that you both have your own brain in the dream and then just imagine them doing what you want them to do. It helps to just paralyze your own muscles in the dream and kind of focus on not being able to move yourself and then imagine you're moving through the dream character. Okay, so if I was doing this now, I would just paralyze my muscles and then imagine myself moving through another dream character in the distance. That's really the best explanation of doing this. And uh, maybe you can scroll down and leave a comment about what you think is the best way of doing this. That's the best way I've found to control dream characters, but it really depends. And this is really important to realize. Sometimes you'll be lucid and you'll think you're in control, but then the dream will actually surprise you and your subconscious mind will act in a way that it seems like it's a different entity. It seems like it's something outside of yourself that is deciding what happens. And I think it was Robert Wagoner maybe who wrote this in, it was in the, the book, um, Lucid Dreaming Gateway to the Inner Self or something. Maybe you can leave a comment, I, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, and he wrote about how your subconscious mind can actually surprise you with these things. And it seems like the dream is acting on its own. And this is actually really interesting. And this can happen very often when you try and control dream characters more often than almost anything else you could try in a lucid dream. So be aware of that. But that being said, just give it a try. It's good. It's a lot of fun.